let's talk snacking because most people snack because they have cravings, they're bored, or they simply don't eat enough for the day, which causes them to want to snack. So most people under eat, and if they aren't under eating, then they're overeating, and it's typically under eating satiating foods. So when we are under eating and we are also under eating food that is satiating, that leaves us hungry and also leaves us with tons of cravings. So how can we beat the snacking and the grazing throughout the day? So for one, we need to make sure we are following the meal plan table and getting in enough meals throughout the day. Not snacks, but meals throughout the day. And when we follow the meal plan table, we will be more inclined to have protein with every meal, which will then leave us fuller and satisfied, which stops us from wanting to snack. So we want to get out of the habit of grazing. It's one of many people's downfall. And we want to get in the habit of scheduling our snack in advance. So let's face it, because no matter what, there is typically a time of the day when you want a snack. So instead of falling for it every time, we might as well schedule our snack part of our routine and schedule around it for the best results so it doesn't affect it affect us in a negative way. So schedule a snack around your craving time and make sure your snack is protein based or meal plan table approved. So having a, an arsenal of snacks that are your go-to is important because then you know what you're always going to need. Um, you'll know what you're going to need in the house and what you're going to grab when you know it's time for your smaller meal or your snack rather than just kind of picking whatever you kind of can get your hands on. So you may be asking, what are a few quick and easy snacking ideas? So just to name a few, you have a protein shake with fruit, you can make a smoothie bowl, top it with some granola, you can have a protein bar that's delicious, first one bars are amazing. Uh, Non-fat plain Greek yogurt with maybe some berries, add some first form level one in there for some flavor. Um, you can do turkey jerky and beef jerky, low fat. Um, you can do a tuna packet with rice cakes or a tuna packet with uh, tuna packet with a slice of toast. You could do hard boiled eggs with celery and carrots, um, or maybe even some fruit. Just be sure not to eat all of the yolks, depending on how much you're having. Um, you could even do like a frozen banana dipped in yogurt and freeze it. Um, that's always a nice little delicious snack because you got the protein and the carbs. So there's a few different reasons. Uh, there's a few different ways that you can incorporate snacks into your day-to-day, -day, making sure that they're protein-based and that they're really going to be able to keep you on track rather than just grazing, grazing, grazing on a bunch of things around the house. 